Hi peer students, in this tutorial we will cover the database called Gale eBooks focusing on an assignment from English 101 with Professor Rosenwein. Now we're starting in the library's homepage and we are going to click on databases A through Z. This will show you all of our list of databases that you can access at home off campus whenever you click on one of these databases from our website we will ask you for your student ID number and your password which is your month and date of birth so your birthday without the year now let's locate the database that we're looking for and since we know that it's called Gale eBooks we can easily click on G for Gale and we can see it's the second one right there but we could have also, before we clicked on G, clicked on the drop down menu that says database types and then look for the ebooks tag and then you will see all of our ebook databases and the Gale one is at the bottom. So let's click on it to actually open it up. Here the library's website is asking me for my student credentials so I'm gonna click login since my browser already remembers them and now I will see the front page of this database this database is great for brainstorming about a topic now your assignment seems to be asking you to choose a author of literature so we're going to pick an author who has written a major piece of literature. If you are not certain which author or work you will be choosing, you can scroll down a bit and click on the tag that says literature. And this database is going to show you different publications on literary research. So if you have no idea which author to choose, you can click on Twain's Authors right here and this publication has a lot of major literary authors and information about their work and their life. As an example, let's pretend that we want to choose an author or a piece of literature that we already know about. So you might be familiar with The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn so I see that title and remember that is a piece of literature that is a novel by Mark Twain so if I open that up it's going to have a table of contents and short articles about this piece of work and in the table of contents I can see some chapters like Mark Twain's life and works historical context the importance of the work critical reception so all of these articles would be useful as sources for your assignment. And if I click on one of these, I can easily get a good overview of this piece of literature and the author. So in this section, it's a chronology, right? A timeline of Mark Twain, but I don't necessarily need a literary timeline. So I'm gonna click on next because I know that the next chapter was about the historical context of that work. And sure enough, here it is. And the context is good, right? Because it lets us know why this title was important in American literature. So I can see the article right here. It's kind of short. And if I want to use it later or read it later, I, we recommend that you email it to yourself so you can click on the paper plane looking icon and click on the email function and when you do this this database will send you a link to this article and its MLA citation that way you can keep track of all your sources by sending them to your own email and if for some reason you need the citation of this article quickly you can also click on cite in that quotation mark icon and this is the MLA 8th citation 
for this one article. But remember that these citations are not 100% correct. So even though you can use them to begin your Works Cited page, you should always double check them. So I could use this as one of my sources, but if I wanted to know more about the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, I can keep clicking next in this publication because I remember that in the table of contents, the next chapter was the importance of the work. So this is chapter two in this publication. So we can use this second chapter as another source. So we're back in the portal for the literature publications within the database Gale eBooks. Now let's pretend that you already know the author that you want to research. And maybe it is Mark Twain, right? So you can click on the search bar and start typing the name of your author that you want to research. And I'm just going to click search to see what this database has. Now, Gale eBooks is only searching for my keywords, Mark Twain, within their section for literature. So at this point, I can, I can see articles like Twain Mark from the publication Reference Guide to Short Fiction. So this article is mainly going to be about Mark Twain as an author and his life in a short article, I would assume. Now, if you start scrolling down, you can see that there's an entry for the autobiography of Mark Twain. So he wrote his own biography, right? And if we keep scrolling down, we can see other articles about him from different publications, such as Modern American Literature. So all of these articles, you could open and use them as your sources. But the point is that as you scroll down, you might find different angles about Mark Twain. For example, this one is titled The Science Fiction of Mark Twain. Maybe you didn't know that Mark Twain wrote any science fiction, but if you did know and you wanted to write about that particular piece of literature, you could open this up and learn about what has been said from an academic point of view about the science fiction of Mark Twain or those specific works. But the function of the database works similarly. You get an article, you can email it to yourself, you can get the citation in the top right hand corner, but the main point is that you skim or read through the article so that you know what that article is about and if it's going to help you with your topic. In this case, I can see that even though this article is about Mark Twain, it's specifically about the science fiction that he wrote, but if I skim through it, it seems like it's mainly going to be talking about this work that he wrote titled A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. So maybe you've never read that one, or maybe you have, or maybe you want to read it, but at this point we already know, okay, maybe this is not about Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. So even though this article is about Mark Twain, I'm not really going to use it because it doesn't match the title of literature that I chose, even though it's about the same author. So this database should be great for any of the authors that you might choose. If you pick an author that is too modern, you might not find a lot of sources on that person. So for example, let's do JK Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. So she's kind of modern, right? She's still living in our contemporary world. So I typed her name, right? JK Rowling, and I'm getting some results. And as you can see, the first article is, ab um, is about her. It's coming from a publication titled Concise Major 21st Century Writers. And we can see that she was born in 1965, but she hasn't died yet, so there's no date of death. <laughs> But similarly, we can keep scrolling down and see what kind of articles this database has on that particular 
writer. But maybe it's not going to have that much about her works of literature. But you might find one or two. For example, right here, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. That's from one publication. Um, Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling from the Encyclopedia of Children and Childhood. Or up here, I also saw just Harry Potter from the Encyclopedia of Popular Culture. So you could use these sources just depending on the author that you are choosing and the title of literature that you want to focus by them.